Guys, holiday season is approaching, and if your beach bod isn't ready just yet, don't worry, I'll get you cooking. So we're gonna go straight in with this one and start with the footwear. So if you've got a feet phobia, you might wanna skip right now because my feet are looking grim. To starting off, you don't wanna be wearing those dad sandals where the big toe is separated from the rest. They look f***ing awful. Seriously, guys, they're actually mad uncomfortable as well. And how do I know that? Well, my dad used to have them as well. And another controversial item of footwear you should not be wearing are flip-flops. Bruh, the amount of blisters these gave me in between my toes when I was younger was criminal. They don't even look good in my opinion either. So instead, we want to raise the bar. You can either go for sliders which, you know, do the job. They're comfy. But if you want to raise that bar even higher and look more classy and elegant, I would recommend Birkenstocks. And when you talk to most guys, they often have a love-hate opinion on Birkenstocks. They're like the flipping Marmite of sandals, aren't they? But I f***ing love them. Classy, elegant, manly, retro. They're a man sandal whether you like it or not. If you don't like them, yeah, cool. Stick with your flip-flops or sliders absolutely fine birkenstocks are unbelievably comfortable the bottom is literally a built-in insole so if you've got flat ass feet like me from playing the playstation standing up your whole life then birkenstocks are an absolute godsend it feels like a walking massage every time i wear these seriously now we've got footwear out the way with let's move on to the trunks or swim shorts whatever you want to call them and you know you could be a normal guy and wear drawstring trunks or you could be an absolute creep and wear speedos the only guy i've seen pull this off is randy orton so if you're not Randy Orton, don't wear speedos. But assuming you're a normal guy, drawstring trunks will be absolutely fine. You can get ones with patterns to be a bit more interesting or just go for plain. It doesn't really matter. But if you want to be more than just your normal average guy, let me introduce you to side adjuster swim shorts. Yeah, I know. I didn't know these existed either, but how flipping sick do these look? Elegant, old money, smart. You can literally wear these to dinner and your date wouldn't even batter an eyelid. The side adjusters, the extended peak, mwah. Perfect. So if you're going for an old money aesthetic this summer, or you just want to look the part around the pool, side adjuster swim shorts are the way to go. And the best part is, everything I'm recommending in this video will be featured below, so get yours now before they sell out. And more importantly, subscribe and hit the like button if you're enjoying today's video so far. It means a lot more than what you actually think. Now moving on to the tops, and honestly, this depends on your trunks. Like I wouldn't wear side adjuster swim shorts with a football shirt, you know? It doesn't work. Your overall aesthetic has to be aligned. So if you're wearing more relaxed, drawstring trunks so you can pretty much wear anything as long as they don't have crazy patterns on them so for your tops you can go for football shirts basketball vests the wife lover vests plain t-shirts pretty much most tops will work but if you want to look the best at the pool this summer check out this layering combo so we know layering is one of the most important ways to elevate your outfit and make it look more interesting and you're probably wondering Vince what are you on about you donut it's summer I don't want to be layering it's too hot for that and yeah I get that but this combo I'm about to show you will allow you to layer while staying completely cool so if you don't believe me stay tuned the first thing you want to do is chuck on a vest or a tank see nothing too major just yet and then wear a linen shirt over it linen is a very lightweight breathable material you can literally feel gusts of wind through the shirt so if you don't have one in your wardrobe already what are you playing at go get one now already you're looking 10 times more stylish but what if we add a chain a watch and a couple bracelets jeez your outfit's complete and now you're ready for the pool and the pool if you get what i'm saying you look fire you look stylish you're wearing lightweight fabrics you're wearing minimalistic jewelry it's literally the ultimate layering combo and the moment you step out of your hotel room everyone is going to be eyeing you up i assure you that especially if you're rocking side adjuster swim shorts okay i'll stop glazing them now and then for your head you have three options either go rogue and leave your hair how it is just make sure you're not spending incredible amounts of time with your hair being blasted by the sun as that can damage your hair or you can wear a cap or a snapback not sideways unless you want to stand out for the wrong reasons or a headband i personally prefer the headband if your hair is longer it will keep your hair out of your face which is really useful when you're chilling or applying sun cream and it saves you a bunch of time trying to restyle your hair throughout the day you've just got to put up with everyone calling you jack Grealish, minus the calves and last and most important on this list is sun cream if you're red and burnt to f no one is going to care about your outfit everyone's just going to focus on how burnt you are so use the right spf for whatever temperature it is and you won't have to worry about being cooked by the sun and that's a wrap if you've enjoyed today's video and want to see more fashion content like this drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already meanwhile i'll catch you in the next one bosh